Want to be able to read people? Try these three tips from body language experts. 1. Pay attention to voice pitch. The typical pitch of someone's voice can alter depending on their mood. For example, when a person is sad, their voice tends to deflate, Cobb says. This means they'll talk in a lower octave and at a slower rate. Faster, peppier, or more cheerful voices tend to indicate happiness. 2. Look at the curvature of someone's fingers. This one may sound strange, but Cobb says when a person's fingers have a slight curve, it likely means they're at ease. We don't walk around with fully extended fingers, she says, it looks weird. When you have that natural curvature and there's no tension, that lets you know someone's feeling all right. 3. Look at their grip. Just as some people will extend their fingertips in stressful situations, others may ball up their fists or tighten their grip. If someone is already holding a glass or a mug, they may start to hold it tighter, Cobb says. You have this pent-up energy that your body has to release.